Nine times out of ten, anybody doing that would be sweating. Because, mm. uh, child, there's uh, yeah. a lot of who, jumping who and moving it? and twisting. And South Africa, they be stopping. Man, and they, they be, be like, going baby, look, at it. I'm on third one, and I'm tired. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's the Doom Shots React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today, we are back with another American reaction. Yes, yes. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> There are over 70 ethnic groups in Ghana and each of these ethnic groups have their own unique traditional dance style. That means there are over 100 traditional dances in Ghana alone. The traditional dance styles you're about to witness today are the real deal. Four out of every five Ghanaian could perform any of these dance styles without breaking a sweat. Welcome to OAFRO today. In no particular order, we're taking a tour around Ghana as we look at 10 of the most popular traditional... I think I heard him say this before that um, a lot of these dances that they do you know, it's like they do it to the point where they just don't break a sweat because it's easy. Yeah. And then we get through the video and I'm like, that's a workout. Uh -huh. Nine times out of ten, anybody doing that will be sweating. Because, mm. uh, child, there's uh, yeah. it's a lot of who, jumping who and moving it? and twisting. and South Africa, they be stopping. Man, and they, they be, be like, baby, look, at it. I'm on third one and I'm tired. <laughs> For real. Dances in the country. Remember to tell us your favorite in the comment section below. Let's get it started. Ten. Bo bo bo. Oh. Okay. So it look, it look like it's just going backwards. This don't look like a sweat break. Bo 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 is uh -oh. one of Ghana's oh. most satisfying. Oh, there's more than going backwards. What's the name of this thing? The bo 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 bo. Bo bo bo. I understand. see. Why not see what I got? We're all not this? going to this festival. Y'all ain't gonna be trying to dance for my nah, man. I see what I got all the bees in there. <laughs> bo 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 bo. Yeah. Bum bum bum. All right. Let's go. The dance is said to have originated from the mid volta region in Ghana during the early 1940s. It is performed during festive occasions. Bobobo dance is performed mainly by females and the costume worn includes a colorful long dress and two handkerchiefs. White, preferably. Okay. Women with huge assets are a plus as the dance typically involves winding of the waist. Can the skinnier like a, people do this? I feel like, as, I, I, I believe so. I believe so. I, I believe the petite ladies could definitely get involved in this dance, but I don't see any. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. I do know that the motion of it, they can definitely get involved. Yeah, I mean, my mama blessed me a little bit. A whole lot. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she blessed me a little bit, but you know, lot. I am a little petite. I want to get in there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and again, all of them so far had on dresses, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And with the two handkerchiefs. The but that dress is, is what I'm definitely noticing. Two steps, two steps. Hey, hey. Nine. Adowa. Adowa oh, is a very popular dance way. in Ghana performed by the Akan tribe. The dance oh, yeah, is yeah, very famous for its leg movement and. They hand. remind me of. Like um flamingos, like oh, it's yeah, just the uh, like standing on one leg type of motion, the smoothness. Their you know grace, what I'm saying? Grace. It's like real water. Yeah. It's like they making the water. Remember the little move. girl was doing it. Oh yeah, yeah, she said was. I think that was for like a funeral, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Adowa could be easy and yet complicated at the same time as every Ooh, hand gesture has you know what it um reminds me of kind of like the chingy or jigging if you want to put some the, more the <laughs> upper movements the if, upper if you, movement. if you want to put some um aggression behind the movement yeah, yeah a little bit definitely. faster yeah, yeah definitely 100 percent meaning 
hand gestures are used to issue a warning, to offend people, and also to show power and domination. I like it. Sources yeah. claim the dance styles were used. They can okay. curse you out with a dance move. And it don't look like they're doing the cursing. <laughs> She's so graceful with it. Right. <laughs> but she's telling you to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that way. Yeah. By hunters to mimic the movement of antelopes. But that leaves the question, mm. how about the hand gestures? Leave us a comment down there if you have an idea. Eight. I'll not go. Nalogo is performed by the Gan tribe of Ghana. The high tempo of this dance makes it very tiring, hence the need for some kenke. Okay, what? Well, that's the favorite. He said the dance makes them tired, mm. meaning that they will be sweating mm. involved. You feel me? Mm -hmm. We will be sweating. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we have been learning about Ghana, like we know that you guys wear um, white on the last day of funeral celebrations. Mm. Is there another time that y'all wear white or could this have been just a party? Yeah. Food of the gas. It began in the early 1960s as an innovative dance influenced by American rock and roll. The Kwanoko dance is okay, often performed low to the ground like with bent knees and bent back. It frequently features suggestive motions. It's yeah. also worth mentioning the popular Zonto dance from Ghana is highly influenced by Palongo. Seven. Bamaya. Bamaya is one. I'm, I'm going to go do the bora, bora, bora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. That was smooth. That's smooth as well. I could definitely do that, you feel me? I'm not going to do it now, though. For you. I'm not going to do it right now. One of the popular and most commonly performed dance in the northern region of Ghana. Bamaya is a Dangmani word, which literally means river or wet valley. This dance is mostly performed by men who are dressed in feminine clothes. Hey, stop! That's gay! According to old folks, men had to dress like women to give thanks to the gods because it was believed that prayers of women usually got a quicker response than those of men. Oh, wait, I don't get it. What? So they wanted to give praise to the God who is feminine because no, they, feel, they, no? They, they felt like women prayers get heard quicker. Well, they want to go to the word about it. Six. Torah and Takai. This is like physical chairs. Yeah. Torah is a female version of the Takai dance. Both dances come from the Dagbon tribe of Ghana. Tora is a fun game-like dance yeah. in which two dancers knock their bats together in time to the cadence moment of the drums. Dancers form a line and take turns going out into the dance stage. Each dancer knocks twice. I mean knocks bat twice. Those without bats suffer the most. Trust me. <laughs> Five. This one beautiful dance from the Frafra tribe of Ghana. This energy demanding dance focuses more on footwork than any other part of the body. There is a short burst of vigorous dancing, which is followed by a timeout period, for the lack of a better word. Four. Get a dance. <laughs> Another very popular dance performed mostly by the Ashantes is the Keter dance. This is a royal court dance that has moves similar to the Adowa dance. The term Keter simultaneously refers to a specific set of instruments. The music played by those instruments and the dance performed to that music. It is also interesting to know no sandals or handkerchiefs are used except for the traditional leaders. Three. Apatampa by Fantes. <laughs> The 
Fanzies of Ghana are known for producing greats like Kofi Annan, but when it comes to traditional dance, the history behind Abatampa will leave you in stitches. The reason for the stabbed bat came from the story of a woman who successfully used her bat to resolve a dispute between a giant and a native fanti man. Oh, wow. Leave us a comment if you want to know the details to this story. I know you do. Now, this great dance is normally performed during Debes and festivals by the people of Cape Coast and Elmina. Men do the drumming while the women do the thing. What thing? <laughs> Two. <What> thing? Drama <laughs> and Okofu <laughs> dance. <laughs> Most Ghanaian traditional dance moves demand winding of the waist, and this dance by the Krubo tribe is a perfect description of a waist job. <laughs> Historically, it's a dance used in puberty rites and rituals and is thought to have been first performed by dwarves. The dance involves sideways and forward shuffling movements, making use of short, brisk steps with the body slightly bent, moving the dancer diagonally and backwards. One. Wait a minute. Before we even get definitely to that one. Waste, that's definitely a waste job right there. Which one of my Ghana sisters going to teach me to dance when we come? Okay. Which one? Get in the comic section. We already know y'all want to show us the food and all that. Who teach me to dance? Just make a video send her a link to Instagram. I, I need some moves. Y'all can go virtual. <laughs> Kundum. The Kundum dance is a festival dance Kundum. performed by the Nzima people of Ghana. The first performance of this dance is believed to have dated back to the 17th century. The dance is performed to thank the gods for the abundance of food during harvest seasons. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave us a comment, leave us a like. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, interesting. Um, Ghanaians like to shake their derriere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> Shake they there, yeah, then. That's what they like. I mean, okay. If I like, I like, I like the one where um, they the I think the very second or last one we just seen with the wage job, how they was doing that because I really feel oh, like yeah, that alone was... does give that you know the emphasis yeah. of the because dancing is a workout. If mm. anybody dance, y'all know what I'm talking yeah. about. That does give you that hyper energy for your body to move and sweat, metabolism, all that good stuff. You feel me? So I yeah. feel like that one was a good one. Yeah. Definitely. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way. As well as our join features to become a VIP member of the channel. Send in your reaction request through our description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.